guys so welcome back to our channel so today um you're gonna be packing with me um as you guys know spring break is next week so we are going home with carolina so um i gotta pack for that and i haven't packed because today i've been pretty productive actually i've been doing my math on work and getting it down because it was already late so i got 20 percent taken off no matter what grade i got so i made 100 on my test got an 80 because it was late got 20 percent taken off so how to get that done so now we're going to start packing. I say don't even know what to bring. I have like a few outfits in my head, but I'm still trying to plan them out because like it's not as warm there in Florida, uh, in North Carolina as it is here. So I'm trying to figure out what to bring. I think I have like a few outfits planned for the days that I think I know what we're going to do, but I'm still trying to figure it out. I packed a few things. Like I have these fun little leggings for St. Patrick's Day because I get to go out all this year. I'm finally not in school. I guess it didn't matter if I was in school, but I have that outfit and I have my Lululemon leggings. And then I have like these cute little like headbands that I'm going to wear. And like there's like little like tattoo art things for your face. I'm going all out this year. But so far, that's all I've gotten. Finding shoes that I want to wear. I don't know if I want to wear my Converse's or if I want to wear my Vans. But my Converse's look really bad. Like, they have holes and they're just disgusting. But so are my white bands. So I don't really know. Like, I haven't worn my Converse's in probably, like, two or three years. So I really don't know how I feel about the Converse's. But I have, like, also, like, these fun little socks as well that I plan on wearing all of them together. So I have a pretty fun outfit. It's just, I honestly don't even know what to do about the shoes. So I can wear these socks. So I might put on my Converse's because they're like high top Converse's. So it looks kind of cuter. But yes, yeah, so that's kind of what we're rolling with right now. Okay, but we are going to Tennessee for like a couple days. So I am packing for the mountains. So, and I don't really have any cute like long sleeve shirts. So this is why packing is honestly so hard. Cause I honestly don't even know like what to bring. I want to look cute cause I want a bunch of photos. But then I just don't know what to wear cause I don't have any cute clothes. So, that's what we're kind of working with at the moment. Like, I'm just struggling on knowing what I should pack and what I should wear for whatever day we're doing what. And so I'm kind of just like struggling a little bit. I'm gonna bring this bag. I guess it's like a miniature backpack. Cause I have my Mickey bag that I used to like wear every like, time we used to go like, travel overseas or like to different countries. But that one's kind of small and it's like broken and just old. So I think I might use this like a whole blanket and like my iPad, my phone chargers, and like all that little stuff could will fit in this bag. And it's easier just to take like in and out, and like especially when you're traveling, like just to wear it on your back. Cause I plan on like maybe like putting a coat in here when we go out. Cause it's like 50 degrees, so it's kind of cold, but I have like a lot of short sleeve stuff and like leggings or pants, but like nothing like on my sleeves. So I just bring this and like put a jacket and like my wallet money and all that in this when we go out. So I need to pack this as well. Um, I'm packing a duffel bag because I really don't think I need a whole luggage and we're going to have other stuff to bring with us. Like we're taking Sashi and stuff like that. So I'm just going to, this is like a pretty big duffel bag. So I think that's what I'm going to just pack all my clothes in and whatever doesn't fit stay in here because obviously i don't need it so we're going to try to pack that and then pack that and i can't even just like i can't even think on even what to even bring like my mind is just like i have a really bad headache to try to film this and pack so we're trying to figure out what i should all bring and i can't even think at the moment <laughs> just like these pants sweatpants these are like my fa one of my favorite pair of sweatpants. So these are like my go-to ones that I picked. The only thing I wish they had was pockets because I just, these are my go-to, but I think I'm gonna wear this and then my Calvin Klein bra and then like this little tank top because it starts out hot because you know, you have to go through like Florida and then like Georgia and all them where it's kind of warmer. And then you just go to North Carolina where it's kind of cold. So you kind of need a both. And of course, I'll always have the sweatshirt that I wear in almost every video. My favorite sweatshirt we're gonna be wearing so i think that's my outfit that i'm gonna wear tomorrow probably getting up early probably getting up at like 3 a.m so you want to be cozy but so i think that's just my outfit that i'm gonna wear there 
So I have that planned. And then I have my tennis shoes in case like we do anything that might need tennis shoes or in or like close shoes. And then I have like so slowly getting there. I think I might wear this Tuesday because we have to drive from North Carolina to Tennessee, which is like three hours. But you know, you're still gonna have all day to do whatever, but still you are riding in a car, so you still wanna be comfortable. But this set's cute. So I think this is gonna be my um Tuesday's outfit. It's got like the top and then I can just put like because it's pants and then it's short sleeves, so then I can just put a sweatshirt over it if I want. I might just do my hair all cute and like put it in braids or something and then I do all of that. So I think this is what I'm gonna wear Tuesday. And I'm bringing an outfit just in case, like it's just in case outfit. Like you don't like that one, you know? So I'm just gonna wear these. These are like my favorite jeans. They're from American Eagle. But, so we're just gonna pack that and I have still a short sleeve shirt because I have no cute long sleeve shirts. So we're gonna find a shirt to go with this. And then honestly, I might pack one more like lazy day outfit. Like another pair like a sweatpant one because you have to drive back and I don't know if I would wear the same outfit I wore there on the way back just because sitting and all that. So I might find another outfit because I honestly don't even know what to pack honestly. Like this is why I've waited till last minute to pack because I've been trying to think about it all week. So this is like a cute on a day out but I would wear it with like leggings maybe. I also have my jeans if I wanted to but I think this is also cute. I might, I might, so I might bring this for my jeans and my leggings because I think it's cute and I haven't worn it in a while and I'll just bring um my white bralette to put under this. But yeah, I actually do like like this stuff and I actually have not worn this shirt in a long time. And it's kind of like, it's got long sleeves so it's kind of like going to keep me warm a little bit but I think this is what I'm going to go with. So I found my Converse's and I wanted to show you guys what they look like. See like, look, is that poop? Is that dirt? Like, what is that? You know, like, they're just so, like, I'm like, look at the side of this. Like, I feel like, I literally think that's poop on my shoe. And they're like, see, they're not as bad as I thought they were, honestly. It's just, like, the side of this, like, I honestly don't even know. I mean, and so that's why I was like, do I, should I wear these? It's just like the side of that, it's like, just really bothers me. Or I know these are just as bad, or do I just wear my white Vans? Cause look, these even have a rip. So I'm like, I'm struggling on what shoes. I really think the Converse's are gonna look the best, but they're just so dirty and like nasty. And like, I don't even know what's on them. So I'm really struggling on like what shoes I should actually bring for that one outfit. The other ones I'm just gonna wear like, my vans and I'm gonna bring like, I'm probably gonna have my slip on shoes so I can just wear whatever for those. But it's just this outfit because I bought so much to look so cute on St. Patrick's Day and go all out that I want my outfit to kind of look all the way like perfection. So I'm just like, and I don't have like Doc Martens and stuff. Like I've never really been big into that. And I don't want to bring like any booties with heels on it because this eventually as a girl, like they still hurt your feet and stuff. So I want to be comfortable. So I just, I don't know, like, I guess I could try on the leggings and then try on the socks with the shoes and figure it out, but that's just so much effort. But I might do that and then just, and then that would help me answer my question. So here's what I got. I got these leggings, but now that I have them on, I don't even know how I even feel about the socks. Like I'm tempted not even to wear the socks and just wear the shoes, but like, this is my Converse's and this is my Vans. I really don't know, like, I'm struggling so much for shoes for this outfit, like, I really don't know what to wear, and, like, I don't know if I'm even digging the socks, like, maybe if I took off the socks, then I might like the shoes. See, now that I took the socks off, I like it better, but see, I actually think I really do like the Converse, it's just, like, I just wish they weren't so dirty, like, that's the only reason why it's making me, like, really not want to wear them because the outfit would be really cute with them like i have a low top pair that i might try to put on and see what they look like but i really like this but if not then i'll just wear my other converses so i've cho chosen to ditch the socks and i think i'm going to bring the high top converses but i'm going to see what i can do with them tonight like after i'm done packing and everything with cleaning them 
like I might put a little bit of Clorox on them with the toothbrush and like clean them. I mean, I can't do any harm to them. They already look so bad. So I'm not really worried about ruining them. But I think that's what I'm going to do with that. And then just bring my high top Converse's because I felt like that looked the best out of all the ones I tried on. So I think I'm just going to try to work with that tonight and then put like all like these away. But then that's when those are on top of my closet because I just, they're just so nasty and so gross. And so let me not wear them. But then like, I'm not really a Converse person anymore. I've only like gone straight to Vans. So like now I'm just like, do I, should I buy myself a new white pair? Or should I buy me like the white pair of like high top Vans? But I do like the way the high top Converse's look, like the new ones with the like the little like at the bottom, you know what I'm talking about, like the little like boots, but they're like high top. Yeah, I think those are cute and they're from Converse. So I really don't know, but we have a hot tub and like I'm struggling now because I have so many cute ones and so many new ones I haven't worn yet. I don't know which one to bring. So like, I think this one's probably the one I was thinking about bringing. It's super cute. And I love like, I just think this pattern looks so good on me. Just got this new one. And it's, and I actually have a bunch of new ones. Like, I have this one and stuff like that. I just don't know what to wear because I have so many cute ones. But this pattern looks so good on me. So, I might bring this one. But I have my favorite red one. And red's, like, my color. So, I don't know. But I think I might just bring this one. She's at home. She's out doing her um, driving lesson thing. I don't have mine till the 27th. But, so, I want to wait till she gets home to pack, like, the curling iron and stuff. Because we might have to split that. And I don't want to start packing stuff. And then, like all that so i just wanted to get my clothes packed right now but she's gonna be on in like the second half of the video of her packing her stuff but i still have one more bag to pack i still have this bag so i'm just gonna put like my blanket and my ipad i guess i could put my blanket and my ipad in there tonight i don't think i'm gonna use my ipad or my blanket tonight and then i can put my wallet and then of course like my face mask and stuff in here so i'll have everything in this bag it's easy to access so we're gonna do that now. Yeah, that I have left to pack is like our bathroom stuff, like hair products and like our curling irons and stuff. But depending on how I eat me and my sister's luggage is, it depends on whose luggage it goes in. So I didn't necessarily want to pack in case I decide to change it. Oh, because I also just reminded myself that I need a jacket. So I need to put a jacket in that big bag. So yeah, so we're gonna wait till she gets home for that part. And then, yeah, this is the struggle. I have this one. And it's just so fuzzy but like it's cute and it's like fun to wear around it's just like it's not supposed to be that cold like this is like a 20 degree weather jacket because of how fuzzy it is and it's only like 50 but you know me and i'm cold person so i want a jacket but i don't really have any nice jackets so this is about like the, so i think this is the, still the one i'm guessing i'm gonna pack and hopefully that i just don't get too hot because i don't like carrying around either and because i plan on sticking this in here so i'm praying that like when we're out and stuff in case I need a jacket it's just like because this is so big and I'm like I would still have my wallet and everything else in here because my wallet doesn't fit sadly in this like little pocket right here so it's gonna have to go in this big part so I'm gonna have to see if that fits in there then I'm gonna put it in there so if not and then I might just have to find a smaller jacket so we got it in here so I'm guessing throughout the day it would be fine then I can just like shove my wallet like in front and stuff and my face mask and stuff would fit and my face mask and stuff would fit in this pocket so the only thing that would really go in here still would be my wallet so i think when we're out i think this would be okay and that's not that heavy so and i'm usually not an overpacker but i'm just so determined to look so cute and i just don't have any like cute long sleeves so i'm gonna bring this jacket as well because it's like it's still a cute jacket to slip on but still have but so much skinnier than that fluffy one but i'll but i'll put that one depending on how cold it is outside or if i just need something light to slip on so i'm gonna bring this one as well okay so i'm not really sure where my sister left off but i guess it's my turn to kind of finish the video i'm just gonna show you guys like technically what i'm packing to go on vacation um so yeah we're going to tennessee in kind of north carolina so it will be a little chilly when we go down there but i am going to show you and explain to you guys like why well, I'm pretty much bringing this item, I guess. But yeah. The first item I'm bringing is this, like, Orlando sweatshirt. Just because it doesn't matter the time of day. It could be hot. It could be 85 degrees outside. Sweatshirts are my safety blanket. Like, 
it's kind of like a need like I always feel like I need it and then without it like I'm cold if that makes sense like it's kind of like a need so I always bring a sweatshirt everywhere I go like you can tell I'm wearing one now and it's like 82 degrees outside I always will have a sweatshirt on it doesn't matter what time of the year or the day or whatever so yeah I always have the happy sweatshirt and I'm just bringing some like I don't know normal black leggings and um just a plain black crop tank top just to put on under some of my, um, like, basically just as a layering piece. So, like, this, if I wear a crop top or something, like, the wind won't get underneath my shirt and make me cold. So, this is basically just a layering piece is why I'm bringing it. And then, okay, so we're renting a cabin. And so, the cabin has a hot tub. So, I brought just a couple swimsuits. This was from Shein. Just, like, this one. I've never worn it, but, yeah. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I have not been in a hot tub and I can't tell you how long. So yeah, and then just some normal socks. Okay, so the next item that I'm bringing are, let me get it out of the bag, um, are the St. Patrick's Day items. So we found these at Walmart. They're like face stickers. And I'm a very big person when it comes to holidays, especially if I'm on vacation and it falls on a holiday, of dressing up. Um, I'm very big, I'm very, very festive person, I'm a very extra person, so I am always the type to go all out and be extra. Then the next one are just these, um, necklaces. I'm, a, like, I love necklaces, like, especially on holidays to, like, dress up. I think it's so fun. And then just these little hair bands. And I found them all at Walmart, and then they were, like, then the total price for these three items were like 10 bucks, so I got like three things for 10 bucks. But yeah, that's another thing I'm packing. So the next item I'm packing are these St. Patrick's Day leggings. The only thing that bugs me is like, look how different pair of greens these are. I'm hoping like once you have like, once I have them on, you won't be able to tell. But yeah, these are from Tipsy Elf. And when I was looking on their website, it looks like they're like the website that sells like all kinds of stuff like Christmas, like festive stuff like this so these feel like really really nice like quality like I love my leggings from Aerie and that's where I get all my leggings from so like feeling this quality like I'm so impressed but yeah I'm gonna wear these on St. Patrick's Day when we're in North Carolina and Tennessee so yeah so this is a shirt that I wanted to go with the leggings you know it's just a normal crop top but then when I look at it I don't know if that's gonna look very cute because they're two separate greens or I might just put this under it because it's like black and maybe I can just put like a black bra under it but at the end of the day like stuff like this scares me because for one it's gonna be like cold and plus I don't know I feel like people look at me all weird when I wear like a see-through shirt with a bra I don't know I'm still debating I don't really know what to wear with it I'm really struggling because I don't want to wear a bodysuit because that is gonna look weird and that's pretty much all I have to like keep me warm basically with the leggings so I don't know I'm struggling probably probably not supposed to show garments but you know whatever so this is the bralette that I wanted to put underneath the black shirt but then when I look at it it's still like I have too many greens and I don't know what to do you guys tell me in the comments if you think just because it's the holiday if you think different greens will look okay but I still want to match and I still want to look cute. I don't want to look like, you know, that person. So I don't know. Just tell me down in the comments below if you would make screens or what you would do or what shirt you think would look best with it. Because, I mean, I easily could wear this and this and with this and it would be fine. I might, that's what I might have to do. But then I have, I have this jacket that's green, but then... It doesn't match this and it's just too many patterns and I'm just struggling. I'll figure this out. So I forgot I'm packing this tank. So I feel like I could probably try this on and it would just be like the like cover up of this. And I think this would maybe look actually really cute. So I might do that because I don't want to worry about like too many different greens, you know? So I'm hoping this will look cute in my, like it looks cute in my head, but I'm also too lazy to sit here and try it on. So, I might just be the one that overpacks my whole wardrobe till I find a shirt that's cute enough to go with it. But, you know, past the point of that, yeah. <laughs> I found this belt off Shein. 
that I'm packing. It's just a nice, like, white belt. I've never owned a white belt, but it's cute. The next tops I'm going to bring is just, like, this flowery one. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to bring it. I might. It still is, like, brand new. I got it for Forever 21. But it is going to be cold, and I feel like... I don't know. But I am definitely going to be bringing this one because um, if you follow me on TikTok, you probably have seen the outfit. But it's just this top with this, like, black crop top under it and some jeans. And I got so many compliments on the outfit. So I think it would be really cute for, like, a dinner outfit or something. And this shirt is also from Shein. It's just, like, a little bandeau with, like, top things. It's really cute. So, or I could, I could wear this together with this. I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out when I get there. And because there is a lot of options that I and that I plan on bringing anyway with me to see if it looks good or not. So, I'm going to go hiking and see some, like, waterfalls. But I don't want to hike. I mean, I do want to hike, but I don't know what to wear. Like, I don't want to wear long sleeves and leggings and it would be too hot. But then I also don't want to be too cold, if that makes sense. I hate being cold. But I was just thinking about, like, bringing this shirt on like a lazy day or something and it's still cute and it just like ties up it's really comfortable um so we will have like chill relaxing days when we get there so yeah we don't i think we're only staying like three days and it's like tuesday wednesday thursday come back friday so we're only staying like four days so it's pretty much our whole trip because we're only staying a week so so many options that i could put underneath that top if i didn't want to show but I mean, I have this top from Forever 21 as well that I'm bringing. I might sleep in it or something, but it's just like this tank top. And I love these type of straps. Like, they're super thin and really, really comfortable. So, yeah, it's from Forever 21. It was only like 8 bucks. So, that's what I'm bringing. So, and the next pair of jeans that I'm bringing are these pair of jeans. They're from American Eagle. Um... I don't, I don't think I'm going to bring, like, that many, like, dressy outfits because I think we're doing a lot of outdoor activities. Like, when we get there, we're not getting there till like, we can't even check into our hotel at, like, 3. And so, what whatever me and my sister wear down that day is what we're going to be wearing, like, out. So, I'm not really sure, like, quietly what to bring. Normally, I bring stuff and I never, ever use it. And then it's a lot more for me to hang up. But I'd rather be you know, safe than sorry, <laughs> but yeah, I might wear are just these, like, plain black shorts and that red top that I showed previously, hiking, just because it might be, I think, like, the high is, like, 65, but I feel like the more that, like, I keep moving, the more that I'm gonna get hot, so I'd rather be, like, in a mutual thing, so I think as long as I wear, like, long sleeves and maybe shorts, I should be okay, because I will have socks and shoes on, like, tennis shoes, so I'm hoping that's okay, but yeah, I mean, I don't, I mean, I want, I like these ones too, but I don't really want to bring white and going hiking, so I think I'm going to bring the black ones. Do not forget the Birkenstocks. I live and breathe in these things. My favorite shoes ever. I wear them everywhere. I don't, I think I only, only when a time that I wear like socks and tennis shoes or slip-on shoes is like when I need to. Most of the time, even in the cold, I'll wear these. These are like my saving grace, but I'm not quite packing them in my suitcase because I'm going to wear them tomorrow. When we travel, but yeah, always have a pair. They're essential. The next thing I'm bringing is this jacket from Paxson, but it is the brand Brandy Melville. So yeah, it's just this gray jacket. You've probably seen it in so many other colors. This is literally my favorite jacket ever. It's like a nice jacket, but it's also really light. But I also feel like um it will go like nice with the St. Patrick's Day leggings. Like if we were out, instead of me like wearing like a sweatshirt like this that ruins the complete outfit. So this is like my go-to jacket that's like dressy but still cute at the same time. So that is the jacket that I'm bringing shoe-wise. I'll probably be bringing three pairs of shoes on this trip and I know that sounds absurd. But I'm not going to be wearing my tennis shoes with my St. Patrick's Day outfit. But this is for hiking. And then these are the shoes that I want to be wearing down. And then I need a nice like pair of shoes for like when we go out like anywhere, you know. So I'm thinking about bringing my high top Converse's. I don't really know yet because they're super, super dirty, but I also need something to wear with my St. Patrick's Day. I also have my Air Force Ones, but I just feel like they're super bulky and I just don't really want to bring those. I mean, I do, but to save space, I might just bring my Converse's, but I don't know. Also, watch out for a cabin tour because that video will be posted on our channel. 
Um, so yeah, we're really, really excited to go, but like I've had these shoes probably since like freshman year of high school. So they're like really, really dirty. I mean, they even have a rip on the side right here. Um, funny story, I was in PE and you know, like the running machines, I was in PE and the thing, the, I don't know, like the protective thing came off and like the point cut my shoe. If I didn't have like high tops on, I probably would have gotten cut by the thing. So that's why there's a rip, but yeah, they're really dirty. They need to be clean. They're really, really orange, but I still think they're cute dirty, but some people have different opinions. Next thing I'm bringing is this three set one curling iron, but I'm not bringing all three barrels. I'm only bringing one. It's my favorite barrel ever, but it's from Paul Mitchell, favorite curling iron ever. I got it off Amazon for like, I think a hundred bucks. So it's really my favorite one. I know I said I'm only packing like two pairs of shoes or three, but I lied. I'm packing four because if we go out to a nice dinner, I don't really want to show up in Converse's or tennis shoes or my Birkenstocks. I mean, I would probably most likely wear my Birkenstocks out of the other two if we went to a nice dinner, but I want to bring these ones. These are also from New Look for like 20 pounds, I think, but yeah, my favorite shoes ever. I love them. They're just like a wedge. Just came to conclusion if I didn't want to show like too much skin. I have this shirt from Shein. I forgot about it and it scrunches up. And it's really cute on. I wear it all the time. So honestly, I might just wear it wearing this. I don't know because I also want to be cute, but then I also don't want to be cold. I don't know. I might just honestly, I just have to see like these things on and I don't really want to try this stuff on. So I'm honestly just packing it. But if not, if I don't wear it with the leggings, I'll know that I'll wear it with like, um, my other pair of black leggings or another pair of leggings I might be bringing. So I'm not really worried about it that much. So being very dramatic because I also forget that I had like this nice top too from Shein and I love and it's just like open and cropped. And I might just bring this too because I'm such, it's so hard. I'm such a difficult person to pick out outfits. Like it's so hard. Like I'm like, oh, this is not really cute. And then I'll change my mind and then I'll pitch a fit. And it's just like, I would rather have like, um, like a variety to choose from from when I'm there than to not be and then I'll be in a bad mood because my outfit isn't cute and I know that sounds like really childish but if I'm like out I like to be cute especially like on a fun holiday so if my outfit like isn't everything on that holiday that like I'm trying to celebrate it's not even really a holiday but it's just kind of like a fun thing that I kind of get mad because I want it to like all look nice you know what I'm saying like if you're a girl out there and you feel my struggle then just like comment down below so i don't feel like you know that person but i'm pretty sure every girl kind of feels the same way that i do so the next shirt i'm bringing is just this tight like i don't know it, it looks really cute on and it ties in the back it's really cute I, also from shein i have been living in shein lately and i wanted some like long sleeve pieces from shein because i feel like even though i live in florida i just don't I just feel like I got rid of all my like winter stuff when I moved here So I wanted some cuter pieces to like wear with my leggings and it's probably the best thing that I did because I'm a very picky person when it comes to clothes and like what I like and what I think looks cute on me and like Picking out outfits and stuff and I already want to get rid of all the clothes that I have in my closet and do a brand new wardrobe But that is past the point and then I'm just gonna bring this top and I think this would be really cute even if like we if I want to be lazy on the trip but still i don't know i feel like i need like but i feel like i have a couple dress shirts just in case we go to dinner to a nice restaurant or something i know i packed a few so i don't know if i'm going to pack any more clothes besides my pjs and my underwear but i'm not going to show that on camera because just a personal preference i guess but yeah i think that's pretty much everything i have right now that i'm packing besides like my makeup obviously the curling iron i don't have my thing yet my luggage is pretty much already full and I just, I'm such an overpacker. Like I have three pairs of shoes in here, three. And I still probably need to pack like at least two more pairs of socks. I have three bathing suits. Oh my God, I have so much stuff. Like it's so bad traveling with me. I'm such, like it's so bad. It's really bad. The thing I'm packing is just these plain black shorts and I showed you some earlier, but these are the shorts that I just sleep in. Like I do wear them out, but these have like the underwear thing. You know what I'm saying? Like workout athletics and i just feel like that's not like the comfiest to sleep in but i do sleep in shorts so i'm just bringing this other pair of black shorts and i most i and i do wear these out as well like out in public so 
yeah, but they're also comfy to wear. And then I'm bringing these pajama pants because, um, we also have, like, a balcony at our cabin. So, if, like, if I want to go out there at, like, night, but I still want to be chill in, like, my PJs, then I'll just slip these on. And plus, it's supposed to be cold, so I don't want to be in complete, like, full-on shorts. And then this is just the top that I sleep in. It's just an oversized t-shirt with the shorts, just so I'm comfortable. So, I'm packing that. But my luggage is already so full. I'm going to have to rearrange all this stuff because there's no way that everything that I want to pack is going to fit in here. I might have to move the makeup to my sister's luggage so everything will fit in there. But I will show you some of the makeup that I'm packing and some of my daily makeup that I do use because I want to have that in here. I legit asked my boyfriend because when um, I brought my same suitcase when we went to Orlando and I only used like... Not even a half of, like, the half of the stuff that I brought. Like, I'm just so picky when it comes to clothes. And I hate not having my wardrobe at home with me. So, I pack. I pretty much overpack everything. Because, I don't know. I just, I'd rather be safe than sorry. But at the same time, it makes my life harder than easier. When we go on vacation. So, it's, like, really, really bad. So, it's, like, really a struggle getting everything that I need and everything that I want in a suitcase so I don't have to pack two suitcases but yeah crazy but I am bringing a backpack and a fanny pack because okay listen um this backpack isn't big enough to fit everything like this but it also holds my iPad so it's kind of like an iPad case cover thing and I'll stick like my phone charge and everything that I have handy with me so this is something that I'll carry like kind of like a purse basically and then this is what i'm going to use hiking because these hurt my back like everyone's even though they're not heavy but like just some resting on your like thing gets really heavy but this is a side piece so um i can just keep my phone some extra money or whatever i need in here and it just goes like over my shoulder basically like this and it just sits there um and it doesn't too heavy but i might can try to get this in my suitcase i'm going to try like maybe at the bottom so I don't have to like leave it out but yeah i'm bringing this in that and then this uh, keeps all like my medicines too that <coughs> excuse me that i like need to take like you know so they're not lost in my luggage or if, like i need them handy i don't have to go digging through my luggage like this stays on me at all times like even when i travel through airport this is my carry-on bag like my purse like this counts as a purse because it's so tiny so and i don't like normal side purses so i rather have a backpack so this is pretty much what i bring as a purse and then i'll keep like all my fenomen products and medicine in this one and then i did get it when i went to disneyland paris my um chaperone got us all of her like roomies like little disney things as well but then i'll it's like, this is like my mask store as well when I'm not using it. So you can see all the masks that I have. They're just everywhere. But yeah, and I'm going to rearrange that. And then I just have coupons in here. Like I have legit trash. Like what my sister has completely talked about because I know my sister is like the first part of this video. So she probably have already explained stuff, but we are getting up at like 3 a.m. in the morning, pretty much tonight, basically and we're leaving so i have to have everything packed and plus i have another job interview today at like eight so everything has to be packed because i know my mom wants everything to be in the car tonight so we don't have to worry about it and i like that either way because i don't have to get up in the morning and realize oh my god i forgot something or i forgot my bag or anything it's already like pretty much in the car ready to go when my mind is at a better set like set than at three o'clock in the morning when we're all exhausted so yeah i just prefer that pretty much but now i'm just trying to rearrange my luggage to make everything fit because i pack like i'm moving everywhere so um i will be doing um all the way there because we thought as a long car ride that we would just entertain and have something to do so we will be i have posted on my instagram like um ask like questions like it can be like girl talk it can be tmi talk pretty much can be anything we will have a nine hour drive so pretty much we have time to sit down and film a video and talk about anything so if you do want to hop right over and then dm me some questions or if you're on my instagram and you've seen the questionnaire 
make sure that you follow me there because I do ask a lot of you guys like video ideas and stuff. So if you guys do want to be a big part of like videos, ideas, make sure you do follow my Instagram because I do ask a lot of questions and I'm very, very active with my Instagram. That's pretty much where everything happens. You know about my life. It's pretty much where I post pretty much everything. Um, I haven't posted like on my feed in a while, but I do post like new videos and alerts for YouTube and things like that. So I do post a lot of stuff in my story more than I do post on my feed. So if you do want to be a part of that, just go drop a follow. It will, our Instagrams will be in the description box. My sister is pretty active on Instagram too. So you can go drop a follow on hers as well. But yeah, watch out for that video because that video is going to be really funny. Um, my mom is going to be in it as well. So some of the stuff that I don't really feel comfortable talking around her or making a video with, she will be in the car. So if you want to have like a good laugh, just watch out for that video because I'm pretty sure that video will be posted sometime this week or something like that. As soon as I edit it, it probably will most likely go up on this channel. So you should watch out for that. This is my struggle. Look, all of these are ColourPop. I'm obsessed with ColourPop makeup palettes. So when it always comes down to like traveling, it's really hard for me to pick because, not really because there is only like a three palettes that I like ever really use, but I will probably be showing you the ones I will be packing. I'm packing, it's just this ColourPop one and then the colors are just really neutral. Favorite palette. Next one is just this palette called Cute AF. Um, I don't, these are more like springy colors. I only use like the red and like the browns. I don't really use like the yellows and stuff because I'm not very good at making looks with those colors yet. But, and then the next one is called Chasing Rainbows that I will be taking. It has a lot of more brighter colors like blues, but I mostly like the browns and stuff. That's more of the looks I use. And then the next one, these are the most palettes that I use. I basically only use like four palettes and that's pretty much all I bring with me and are always the same four. But the next one is just called Dream Street. This is what the packaging looks like. And then these are the colors. Again, more blues, but I don't use the blues because blue looks really, I feel like it looks very odd on me. Even though blue is told to look better when you have blue eyes, like it makes it pop even more. But I just use the glitters pretty much. That's all in here. This one's almost gone. As you can tell, it's like our favorite one, but it's almost out. But yeah, they're all pretty much the same. But I might only bring this one just because it does have a little bit of green in it for St. Patrick's Day. So pretty much probably the only reason why I will be bringing that one. Um, so yeah, these are my newest ones, but I have not used them yet. I'm just not really, I don't know why I bought it, but I feel like I'm not really a fan of these colors. Like they're purple and I don't really use purple that much. And these are more blues and I don't really use blue. Besides, I really like this color. I don't know. I just thought it was cool because it was like their frozen like their frozen collection but yeah this is where it gets bad i'm taking four mascaras the other one is somewhere but i'm also taking a waterproof mascara i spend at least 30 minutes on my mascara because i hate clumpy eyelashes it drives me nuts i hate oh i it, the biggest pet peeve ever is clumpy eyelashes so i will sit there and comb them until they are Till there's probably about 20 coats of mascara on it. I know that sounds dramatic, but I hate clumpy eyelashes. It literally drives me nuts. But these are ones I got from um, TJ Maxx, not the telescopic one. I got the telescopic one and I really, really like it for like a normal day, like a natural look if I don't have any like makeup on, like eyeshadow. But if I do have eyeshadow on, I really, really love this mascara. It's called Whisk Me Away and it's called, it's by the Cream Shop. And it was like four bucks at TJ Maxx. Favorite mascara ever. But a lot of people don't like it because of the brush. But, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Just the brush. Like, it is kind of like tiny, kind of not. But still favorite mascara. <laughs> but, yeah, these are two of my favorite mascaras. There is one missing. I just don't know where. Oh, I found it. I haven't used this one yet. This one's just the um, Nicole I think it's Hiller New York Volumeing Mascara. I've seen her brands a lot. I think I actually have a prom dress by her as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This big normal bag. We always bring this bag. Me and my sister share. It's just like has like um, highlighter. And I still have to grab my makeup brushes. That reminds me. But it just has like highlighter and then 
like stuff for our crease and eyelash curl like pretty much our daily makeup that we don't pack separately but yeah like i will be packing all my mascaras in here just because i don't want to like lose them but yeah and then just like makeup um i still have to pack like a loofah and shampoo and everything but i can't pack that until tonight i know i can't zip it but yeah, that's pretty much everything. I don't even know. This little video is probably going to be like 20 minutes. So, I probably will end it here. Just because I really do need to focus on what I'm packing too. Because I feel like I just threw everything in a bag. And I have to go like back through it again to see if I have everything that I need. And like everything is organized. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And stay out for our vlogs. And see you in the next one. Bye.